I'm here to discuss doing formulas in Word. This is Word 2007. I personally would recommend doing your formulas in an Excel spreadsheet, copying and pasting it into the Word document. Best yet, use the Paste Special, so that way you always have it linked. So if it changes in the spreadsheet, it changes here. But let's work with this. I have this table created here, and we have the table tools layout thing here, formula here. And what I want to do here, I want to do things in here, it's just like Excel. We have columns and rows, columns A, B, C, D, rows 1, 2, 3. So if we're adding up these numbers here, it would be equal B1 plus B1 on there. So I click on formula. We highlight what is in here. Delete it. Equal. So I type in B1 plus C1. I say OK. Got it added here. Doing subtraction, formula, delete everything in here. That's used for adding the numbers above. I'll show you that last. And when I'm doing this, you've got to use parentheses here. If you don't, it doesn't work right. So if I want to subtract the 300 from the 500, left parenthesis C2 minus B. Two. You kind of have to count doing this where it really increases the uh, margin for error. Very good. Let's say we want to multiply 18 by 25. Formula, and it would be equal B3 times C3. Let's say you want to make it look like currency, another format. You could click in here, there's a dollar sign. I would say OK. $450. I want to do some division. The other thing too is you really cannot copy things. So if I'm doing a division here, I'm dividing the 10 to 100 here, the 20 to 250 here. I've got to do it twice. So if you've got a lengthy thing here, it's not going to be good. It's good for simple things here. So we're just going to go here. We'll say equal B4 divided by C4 say OK or press the enter key 10 so I do this again equal B5 divided by C5 have to do this slow and then we say OK 12 and a half now if we want to add up all the numbers above formula equals sum above we could do, click on the OK. You also have other things here. We can do like a few basic things in here, like maximum stuff here. But I'm just going to keep this simple for today. And I'm just not going to use any of the paste functions. I'll say OK. It's adding it up. It picked it up the formatting. Now, the next thing here, let's say we change this number here to 50. Unlike Excel, it will not update. So you have to right click at this number here say update field I have to go here update field so it gives you the totals there this is a quick overview of basic formulas in Word good luck